Hi, and welcome back to Anything TV. Uh, thank you so much again for joining me today. Uh, today, I kind of want to give a little bit of an update. So, yeah, Colorado is going to the Big 12. Um, that was announced the day of the video that I did last time, um, which was Thursday. Uh, that's when Colorado had their meeting and their decision. Uh, today, Arizona has a meeting today. Um, and they should have a decision, I would hope, by today, too, I would think. So, um yeah, uh, if they do that, I think it's going to start a chain effect. I think Arizona State will come with Arizona, and I believe Utah will as well. Um, so I, we'll get into that list of what that's going to look like there. But yeah, I also think there could be an option for an 18 team, and we'll, we'll discuss that at the end. Um, 16, I got two options for 16. We'll get into the first one here. But the reason why I have 18, it, I'll explain it here in a little bit. Scheduling purposes, I think it would be a uh, would benefit, especially if you want to keep it at a nine game schedule for football, and um, and twenty games for basketball. So I know the Big Twelve has eighteen right now for basketball, but eventually they're gonna have to bump it up to, to twenty. I know Pac twelve was doing has been doing twenty these last couple of years. So uh, let's get into it here. We'll, we'll talk about it. let's just talk about the first sixteen. This is. This is why I think is gonna the most obvious is gonna happen now. I think this, believe this will happen. Um, you know, if if Arizona State in Utah um, pounce after Arizona joins, if they pounce on it, they're in. Um, if not, that kind of leaves Oregon and Washington out there still, and we'll discuss that later next actually. But yeah, this is the first list of the of the map here that I'm about to show. So that's the first. Um, the the first uh map right there, um, I think this is this probably will happen here um first, um but we'll see we'll we'll get into the other two teams right now, uh the network same thing kind of I talked about in the last video um the only difference here is I changed the logo, um we we don't use a Roman numeral here, um I think that looks okay but it's something it's something to represent super, so I did the diamond like Superman you know but anyway. That's what the first uh, one looks like. I do, do have Gonzaga and UConn for basketball. If you looked at the list there too, they were in stars. So they're just in, they're just going to be basketball members only. Everybody else in gray will be for football and everything else. So that's the first map right there. Um, this is the second possibility. This is if, if Oregon and Washington join ahead of Arizona State and Utah. Should they be you know too slow to make a decision or something? Um, that would be the... The second possibility, you see Gonzaga and UConn right there in the bottom on stars. And then uh, here we here we go again. Um, so for schedule, I want to talk about scheduling. So since we're on this map, I'll talk about the scheduling for 16. Um, the pairings here would be different. So obviously, the like they don't want to do divisions or pods, but. If you want to schedule for 16 teams and you still want to keep a nine game schedule, see, this is where I kind of see now, understand why the SEC did um did a eight game conference schedule instead of a nine. It's a little bit of a cleaner, um, cleaner scheduling wise because you just play your rival once. So Arizona in this case would be paired with um, BYU in this if Oregon and Washington join, that would be interesting, but anyway, so. Arizona plays BYU every year. They're paired with them, okay? Same with Oregon and Washington. They play each other every single year. Everybody else that's left, you play um everybody else that's left, you do play one time. So one you play so there's going to be you play BYU. There's you don't count yourself, of course. So there's 14 teams left. So you play the 7 one year, you play 7 another year. So I have Line A and line B. Uh, we'll talk about that right now, especially in the 18 game, um, the 18 team conference. That that's that's how you would do the eight game scheduling. Um, now for the for nine games, you would have to group it. So it would be Washington, Oregon, BYU, Arizona. We play BYU, Oregon, Washington every year. That's that's three three games there, and then it would be. Uh, it would be two from the other pairings. So it would be like, it would be, let's say, Colorado and Oklahoma State, they're a pair, okay? Uh, 
Arizona plays Colorado, and then they play Kansas. They play Cincinnati. I have Iowa State Cincinnati as a travel partner. I have West Virginia and UCF as a travel partner. That's how that works. Kansas schools are together. Colorado, Oklahoma State, Tech and TCU, Baylor, Houston. You could probably do Baylor, TCU, Tech and Houston, but I just like doing the side by side, so I have the I have it like that. Um, so yeah, and then you just play one, basically one of the other pairing from each other pairings, and then the so and then the seven that you don't play year one, you play year two, and then it starts over again, and it just keeps going back and forth. Um, that's how you would do for 16. Those are two options for the 16 game schedule, um, 18 games. And then for basketball, of course, uh, for 16, you know, you would do, um, in this case you would do for over here, you would do, you would, you would play BYU, Oregon, Washington twice a year, home and away. That's six games. Everybody else, you play everybody else just once. So then, and everybody else that's left over. That's how many, that's 12 teams. So yeah, that would be 18, an 18 game schedule. You play UConn once and you play Gonzaga once. I'll give you 20. So, and then here for 18, this that's the list for 18 now. So I did include, I really feel the big 12 can get, can still get Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Oregon, and Washington. They can get all five of them really and just make it 18. Um, it'll be 20 for basketball, but we'll talk about how that'll work. So let's get into the map here. That was a list. The map right here, everybody's paired. That's a clear pair. That's a clear pair. That's a clear pair. Uh, same, same, well, because Kansas is together. So we have Colorado, Oklahoma together. So that's a pair. Kansas a pair. These guys are a pair. These guys are a pair. Everybody's a pair here, okay? These are all pairs. And then Gonzaga, UConn is also like a... a scheduling pair for basketball but anyway let's get into it here so now arizona let's just let's pick other schools here let's let's pick on byu and utah byu they play utah every year then they play so we'll talk about line a and line b line a would would feature uh so we talked about the pairings at alphabetical order arizona comes before arizona state byu comes before utah Oregon before Washington, you get the idea here. So line A would be, um, I didn't have a list for this, but line A would be like Arizona, BYU, Oregon, Colorado, Kansas, TCU, Baylor, uh, Iowa, did I say Iowa State? Iowa State, no, Cincinnati. Cincinnati would be in line A and UCF. So that's line A. Line B would feature uh, West Virginia, um, Iowa State, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech, Houston, Utah, Washington, and Arizona State. That would be that would be line B. So Arizona play line A year one, and then the following year line B, and then year one for Arizona State B, and then two A. So it switches, you know, it switches, and then you play. Uh, so yeah, you when you play your you play them one. That's one game there when you play. And then everybody else, it'll be um, for line A, that'll be eight more teams. So that's nine games right there. Um, and then for basketball, when you have UConn and Gonzaga included, um, you could, I don't know, for line A, we'll just say Gonzaga's line A, UConn's line B. And uh, so Arizona would, you know, would play Gonzaga year one, UConn year two, and then it would start over again. So they play them, they play one of those they play each of those schools every year once, just like the rival. So that's like three games there, and then the rest of your, um, the rest of your slate, the rest of the 19, 18, 18 teams that are left over for basketball. So that gives you twenty, uh, right there. You play your. I think the only team that you play twice would be your rival. So that give you twenty. UConn, Connecticut. That's four games actually. So and then everybody else is sixteen teams. That give you twenty games right there. So twenty for basketball. Nine for football. I think it. I think it's cleaner with eighteen, if you want to keep it at nine and twenty. But if you want to do eight and eighteen or eight and twenty, you do sixteen teams. Or nine's a possibility for sixteen teams, but it's a little bit messier because you would have to group have groupings to do that. So that's just my piece on it. Um, let's see what Arizona decides to do. Um, again, with the with the networks, you know, you could have time slots. 
Uh, Big 12 already has ESPN and Fox. The, the other two, if you add teams, talk to them. You never know. You know, you got channel. This is your A channel lineup. This is your B channel lineup. So at the top is are the A channel. Bottoms are the B. So like the B, the B channel, especially the, the all these ones bottoms here, they could be for after dark. You know, time slots were after dark. There'll probably be some day games on there too, obviously. But you have plenty of inventory to fill up all the time slots and all all networks. I think they can get on 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 the other two networks. I think they can get on NBC and CBS as well, like the Big Ten has already. And there, I don't know what NBC and CBS are going to show anyway. I don't know what they show on Saturdays in the fall. But you're missing out on some on some good some good TV here. So. Let me know what you think. I know they show um, NFL on Sundays, but on Saturdays, come on. You know, you can advertise the NFL. And NFL could do the same thing for, for college for the upcoming week because college always starts off the week before NFL anyway. Um, and, yeah, I think they have Thursday games still too sometimes. You can, and Thursday, Fridays are also options too. So let me know what you guys think of this idea, concept of 18. Um I like it. It's, it would be the way I would go, but let's see if they decide to do that. Big 12, you guys can get those. You guys can get Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Oregon, and Washington. And Oregon and Washington, Big 10, if they come, cool. But if not, then go to the Big go to the Big 12 and have have it make it 18. I think that look that's a healthy conference. Um, it could last longer than some people believe. So I feel it could last a long time. So. Yeah, let's see what happens. Today's a big, big day, big meeting. I think the meeting's just starting as I'm ending the video. So, um, so good luck, Arizona, and to everybody else. Um, and until next time, guys, I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Please share, like, comment, subscribe. But sharing's a huge one here. Um, they're all huge. So I appreciate it either way. So take care, guys.